in this Sunday morning with the very serious allegations leveled at a sitting president of the United States. A deep dive and breaking news this morning into claims of influence peddling and selling out America while pocketing cash for himself and his family. And the impact to U.S. national security. Here's House Oversight Committee Chairman Congressman James Comer with me on Friday morning on Fox Business's Mornings with Maria. Watch. Based on the fact that nine different Biden family members have been receiving payments from a web of LLCs that are receiving payments from my adversaries around the world. This fits a pattern of uh, questionable behavior that the Biden family members have been doing to receive funds. So uh, we take this whistleblower claim very seriously. We know it exists. We know the FBI has the document. I can tell you this, the Biden family have received a lot of payment from the Chinese Communist Party, uh, from entities that are state-owned entities. Chairman Comer sent a subpoena to FBI Director Christopher Wray to testify and to produce a document in the FBI's possession that, quote, describes an alleged criminal scheme involving then-Vice President Biden and a foreign national relating to the exchange of money for policy decisions. This comes as Secretary of State Anthony Blinken denies he pushed for 51 intelligence officials to sign a letter calling the Biden laptop Russian disinformation right before the election and then lied about it under oath, as Senator Ron Johnson told us right here last week. Uh, Anthony Blinken finally did come in and sit down for a voluntary transcribed interview in December of 2020 because he wanted to be Secretary of State. And now because of uh, more information that's come out, we know that he lied bold face to Congress about never emailing Hunter Biden. My guess is he told a bunch of other lies that uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring him and his wife back in, tell them to preserve their records. That wasn't my idea. I didn't ask for it, didn't solicit it. And uh, I think uh, the testimony... Uh, that uh, the former deputy director of the CIA, Mike Morrell, put forward confirms that. Join me right now with more on all of this in this Sunday morning exclusive interview is House Oversight Committee Chairman, Kentucky Congressman James Comer. Mr. Chairman, thanks very much for joining us. Good morning. What can you tell us about this latest investigation of influence peddling on a sitting president? I know that you're planning a press conference this Wednesday. What will we learn? Well, Senator Grassley and I uh, received uh, a, a tip uh, on a whistleblower. Senator Grassley was, was the lead in this. Uh, we reviewed documents uh, from the legally protected whistleblower, highly credible whistleblower, uh, that would implicate Joe Biden in a pay-for-play scheme, uh, in uh, uh, trying to uh, set up a deal to receive funds to he and his family, uh, in exchange for foreign policy decisions. Now, that fits a pattern, Maria, of what we've seen with these bank records. And on Wednesday, we're going to present to the American people uh, all the information that we've received thus far pertaining to bank records. Uh, we're going to disclose many of the different LLCs, uh, many of the different transactions that all these different Biden family members have gotten from our adversaries around the world. Now, we don't believe this was just a coincidence that all these Biden family members were receiving uh, money from these this web of LLCs into their personal bank accounts. We believe this was done in exchange for something that uh, then Vice President Biden and, and now President Biden uh, would have done. So uh, this whistleblower is going to provide some very crucial information to our investigation. And we've given the FBI until May the 10th to produce this document. So the ball is in the FBI's court with respect to this whistleblower. You, you are sure that this document exists? 100%. What if they don't release the document by May 10th? What if they decide to indict Hunter Biden for having a gun illegally before your press conference? My message to the Department of Justice is very loud and clear. Do not indict Hunter Biden before Wednesday. When you have the opportunity to see the evidence that the House Oversight Committee will produce with respect to the web of LLCs, with respect to the number of adversarial countries that this family influence peddled in. This is not just about the president's son. This is about...